Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our data log overlay feature in our FuelTech Manager software. So when we're going in and doing any kind of tuning, whether it be on the dyno or at the track, we want to review the data we've captured either on the onboard data logging, the internal data logging, or if we're going to be doing laptop logging. So when we take a look at the data logs, we want to make adjustments to fuel and spark, especially when we're on the dyno dialing things in. Now, we can go right from the data logger software and jump back into our fuel and ignition timing tables and make our changes. Now, it's going to be a little bit of a difficult situation. You have to go and reference what RPM you're at, what kind of map pressure sensor reading you're at, and you have to go into the tables and edit the range or around where you're at. You don't know exactly the precise location. That can be a little bit time consuming. We can use the data logging overlay feature to actually open up our data log and then open up our fuel table right into the data logger software. We're able to make our changes, let's say, to our fuel, and we're able to send it right back to the controller and we can keep that process going. So it's not only gonna be giving us a really rapid way to make our changes, but a precise way to find the exact point in the table to make our editing change. So we can do this for both fuel and spark timing. I'm gonna go over how to accomplish this using some sample data logs. It's a relatively simple process. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at our overlays in our logger software and how we can use those in our FT Manager software here to make our editing changes during our dyno tuning or track tuning. This is going to be especially important feature. You're going to be using this quite heavily to do any kind of actual tuning. It's going to give you the exact position in your tables to make your editing changes. And if you're logging, let's say, O2 correction, that can guide you in what you need to update the tables by. So there's going to be a couple different overlay things that we have to take a look at in this video. Again, we're going to be covering all those. Now, this is going to be requiring us to take and capture data logs. So we've already looked at the process of working with the data logs in our FT Manager software. We know we have to go into our FT Data Logger to actually review those. We have two different options for capturing data logs. We can either go to Start Log. That's going to capture the data log. We can do that manually here. Or alternatively, we can go into our internal logger here and set our conditions to actually start to internal log. So we can say here to auto start and auto finish by a certain RPM or a certain speed. Um, it's going to be your choice how you want to configure this. There's some flexibility. Normally, if I'm doing my tuning on a chassis dyno, I'll be using the manual start and stop here for the data logging. And if I'm going to be uh, going at the track, making changes, making editing changes, and working with something at the drag strip or on the road course, we're going to naturally capture the internal logger. That's going to make a lot more sense. We're not going to keep a laptop in the car for safety reasons. That can be a distraction or the laptop can uh, get a crash. The laptop can fly and bang into the driver or break the windshield or whatever the case may be. So we want to keep the laptop out of the car in racing conditions and use the internal logger. So just depending on what condition you're operating in, you'll be going in and using either the, again, the manual or the internal logger here. So what that's going to allow us to do is capture the data, and then we can review the data and make our editing changes. So if we're rich or we're lean, we have too much spark timing, too little spark timing, whatever the case may be, we can review that data and then actually apply it back into our calibration file here to start to optimize everything. Now, we're going to jump in here. Let's go into our FT data logger to just open up two sample data logs and take a look at the process of working with the overlay feature and seeing why they're so invaluable for editing purposes and uh, making your life much, much easier working with the Fuel Tech Manager software here and getting your tune dialed in. So let's go to the FT Data Logger. So when we're in the FT Data Logger, I have my log files. Let's just assume that I've captured these and I'm gonna be opening them up. That's for my tuning. So there's gonna be two different logs here that you actually have. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.